All right, putting the uh, two inch reducer in into this mammoth uh, toe setup. And I gotta pick one of my forged, one's a 15,000 and one's a 17,000 pound uh, two and five sixteenths setup. guys camper here got a little air and tip in I got it honest beautiful Saturday it's 48 degrees right now sunny got the sunroof open and we're headed to pick up Megatron 2.0 we're gonna do our first tow with the beast the f-250 diesel super duty so let's go have a little fun and uh, bring the tractor home and keep our fingers crossed on that ghost electrical issue and then we got to haul it over to Kentucky not sure exactly when but it'll get over there oh and uh, some bad news I always say and I pr practice what I preach at least I try life is short just lost another good friend cancer uh, rest in peace Wayne he was in his mid 50s used to play hoops with him I miss his no look passes. Him and I had a lot of fun together, but just like that, gone to cancer. So we're gonna try and make the best of today just like we do every day. So let's go have some fun. Right, let's get 2.0 tied down here, man. What a beauty. It's been a little while, man. Time just kind of flies. Look at how pretty she is. I kind of miss that Cummins uh, kind of deep, quiet roar. Now time to try out the Ford. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, interesting thing about the brakes, I did some reading in the manual, and you know, cause I was trying to set the brake gain like you normally do, like for a six, seven, eight max, 
That's right. This one actually is is fluid. It's dynamic. So the farther you push the brake pedal, it's going to go all the way up to 10 and work its way back. So that's really, really nice. This will be the first vehicle I've ever had that has that, which is just huge, huge for towing. Neither the dump truck nor the other Ford had that. And it made it challenging sometimes towing this beast. And the bigger ones were even worse, so let's give it a whirl. Okay, it's going to take a little getting used to. But I'm looking forward to towing with this thing. Right now I got the brake set to 9. But as I said a little earlier, I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's... It's fluid depending on how hard you're pushing on this brake, which is really, really sweet. I mean, that's that's really what you want for towing. Uh, right now, granted, I just left, but man, it's it, it doesn't even feel like it's as far as the pull. It's quite easy. So I'm gonna brake a little bit here. Then I'm gonna push. Oh, I, yeah, I heard it skidding back there. So, yeah, they're working. Um, that's gonna be very, very helpful, especially on them really, really long and steep declines. So, whew, it's getting warm, man. Let's open this baby up a little. Uh, it definitely feels much, much more stable. All right, we're gonna goose it a little here just to just get a feel for the power. This trailer is roughly around 10,000. Yeah, it's a whole different, whole different ride as far as the, the, the power. It just feels like Okay, let's do over. is the smaller the two tractors and we're still at around 10,000 or so for the trailer weight um, but it is not bucking this thing around nearly like it does the other two now granted the Chevy 3500 it's not an apple to apple but for me it is it's my apple to my apple so that's why I make the comparisons with that we're going to tackle our first hill right up here. I'm really liking the braking. It's way, way better and obviously much safer. All right, let's take this first hill. This is kind of a small one. I mean, it just shifted in the second or third. didn't even need to downshift so I'm liking that right there all right I'll spin it for a while and we'll check back in okay we're now coming up to the big big dip great big long one both down and up so uh, I'll try it without hitting the brakes first just to see if the tow haul actually does downshift or if I need to brake. And then of course on the back side I'm going to punch it and see. I might have to downshift a little but we'll give it a try. I could leave that 
that song going. It's Are You Ready by Disturbed. Okay, here we go, man. Look at this baby. I'm a fr I'm I'm already wanting to hit the brake based on obviously my experiences. So it let it get up a little bit faster than what I like. actually eliminate like gear number six and gear number five if you want we'll catch you back at the driveway or another steep hill okay I really really like the braking management system uh, as I mentioned earlier it's really really nice now I'm gonna try and test this downhill speed button although reading the manual it said it's only good for you if you're going 12 miles an hour or less um, but I'm gonna try it faster than that and see what happens so I just clicked it it said it's ready I'm back I'm on our dead-end road now but it's quite hilly actually it's very hilly I'm going 25 and uh, it's I'm obviously a little too fast for that thing to work which is a shame they I wish they'd put that on but they have it it's probably for like super steep mountains you know I mean it, it only works when you're going 12 miles an hour or less so I'll try that out one of these days but as far as going up hills like this I mean actually accelerate there goes a deer here comes a neighbor I can actually accelerate going uphill with this trailer on which the Chevy yeah that I want I got lucky to be going 30 at the top even when it's running properly so anyways I'm rambling but Get a couple more clips and uh, definitely a two thumbs up on this Super Duty. Absolutely for trailering big time. Okay, one other thing. It just popped up to speed to speed descent control. It said it's ready to go but 20 mile an hour or less. So the manual I'm sure said 12 because I read it like three times. But now it just popped up that I got to be going less than 20. So... Okay, actually it's working right now on our driveway. I'm going 10, and this is a downhill run, and the icon is showing. So right now, when my, the dump truck would be whoosh, and even the other one, it's actually holding it. Wow, that is sweet. I'm not touching the gas or anything, but that is sweet. So there's a mini test of it. We'll test it on a bigger, longer highway hill, but it does work. That's really nice because a lot of times I'm with the Chevy I'm hitting the brakes in here because you know it's every up and down hill it picks up speed and then the uh, the trailer brakes would skid on the gravel so here's another little downhill I'm gonna let go it's at 11 miles an hour right now and that's where it's gonna hold it at where normally it would be free rolling and picking up speed so Wow, definitely does work. Sweet. Ford, you got a winner here, and this was only a 2013.
definitely two thumbs up. It's going to be a much, much better towing situation. No doubt about it. So, uh, good investment. I mean, I got probably five years to pay this baby off, so it's got to last. But I don't think it's going to be a problem.